hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video i will be showing you how to do a twist and curl on your falsy natural hair as you can see my hair is freshly washed and i normally use a white t-shirt to get some of the water out of my hair my hair is already in twist because normally i wash my hair in twist okay washing my hair in twist makes it easier for me to get to the scalp and also reduces too much tangling in my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and just untwist my hair. And this is how my hair really looks, right? A few minutes out of the shower. Now my hair is moist, but looks a bit dry, even though it's, my hair is low porosity. So it takes a while for water to really sip into my hair and when it's in sometimes it looks dry but it's not very dry it's it's where i really want it to be as i'm about to add some products to my hair so for this tutorial i'll be using my organics pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner i will be using the pomegranate and honey curling cream as well as the twist and souffle and also for the oil I'll be using their mint oil and I'll be using some small pen rods as well as a Denman brush to help me brush out my hair first I divide my hair into two and I'm gonna start from the back I'm gonna take some leave-in Put the living in my hair make sure my hair is saturated with the living and then i'm going to get the curling custard take a little bit add it to my hair to saturate my hair And then I'm going to top it off with a twisting souffle to act as a cream. Okay. And then I'm going to add in my oil to seal in. Now you can see I have products in my hair. My hair is quite saturated with products. I'm going to go ahead with my Denman brush, start from the end of my hair and brush to the root to make sure that it's clean. When it's fully brushed, I'm then gonna go ahead and twist, twist the entire hair until I get to the end. Then I'm gonna leave a bit of the hair at the end. I'm going to use my Denman brush to brush it. And then I'm going to roll the hair the rest of the hair on the perm rods. So this is how we looked for the first two when I finished. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do for the whole hair. And as you can see, I'm almost done. I only have the first two, but this shows clearly what I was doing. Since in the first video, the end was cut off a little bit so you couldn't really see what I was doing when I was adding the hair on the perm rod. So you would clearly see in here, after brushing my hair and twisting, I'm going to go in ahead and then the end, just roll it around. And then just roll the end that I left around the perm rods. When I finish, I always like to oil my scalp. When I just twist or braid or whatever I'm doing to my hair after freshly washing it, I always advise to oil your scalp and your edges as well. You can use any oil. Sometimes I use, I use castor oil, but in this case, I'll be using the Mayel mint oil. And when I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead just so to stretch my 
twist i'm going to use bobby pins to just pin up my twist i allowed my hair to dry for about three days because i really didn't have anywhere to go and since we are quarantining in home i just allowed it to dry for three days now i'm going to first start off by taking up the bobby pins i put in and then i'm going to take off the pen rods And then I'm going to shake my hair out a little bit just to get the twist to sort of unrelease themselves. And then I'm going to oil my fingers. And after oiling my fingers, I'm going to go ahead and untwist the twist. Now you can see the definition is amazing. But one thing I did realize was that I should have paid more attention to the product on the ends of my hair because i realized that the ends of my hair look cakey from products because i had too much product on the ends i should have taken some out when i brushed my hair with a damp on brush so next time i'm going to make sure that i do that and whenever you are taking out your twist you know you want to make sure that you separate your twist by finding a natural separation first okay now what i mean is when you take a twist normally I would untwist in the opposite direction. I would find a natural separation and then separate to get a really good definition. Okay. And after that, I'm just going to go in fluff with a pick comb. And you can see my curls are bouncing. Now, I would love for you to try it and leave me a comment below how it went. Just remember do not use too much product okay and also make sure your ends are not filled with so much product as you can see my ends are quite white because i had too much product on the ends which i should have brushed it out when i used the denman brush so pay close attention to that And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.